Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys about four hard lessons I've learned over my lifetime. Let's get started and talk about it. And some of these I'm still in the process of learning. I'm going to get right into it. The first one is I'm really working on not oversharing. I tend to just want to tell people everything and share everything. There's a lot of downsides with that though because the number one, sometimes when you share things, especially if they're stressful, you end up reliving that negative experience and it's just, it's not pleasant for anybody. Number one, you place that negative energy on someone else and number two, you're living through that negative energy again. That's number one. And then number two, you know, when you share things, you're opening yourself up to all sorts of judgments, opinions. And number three, some people just don't care, which brings me to, I watched an interesting video about a guy that travels all over and he was talking about different experiences in different countries and he said Americans are known just to share everything he said in many of these European countries for example they just don't share everything he says you might go over there and act like you're American and start talking about your Aunt Betty's ingrown toenail and this person's trying to be polite but they're thinking to themselves I don't know Aunt Betty why do I need to hear about this you know something like that so over sharing many times now what I'm doing before I share anything is I'm kind of tabling it. I'm putting it in a shopping cart. I'm asking, do I really need to share this? Or does this person care? Why am I wanting to share it? Many times now, I just simply, 24 hours later, kind of like I'm putting off a purchase, I'm putting off those words. Most of the time, I don't end up sharing it. And because it's not really anything I need to share. Okay, number two, not reacting or responding. I can tend to be overreactionary before I know everything and maybe sometimes not effectively communicate and a lot of times I can over explain myself all of that kind of stuff I've gotten better where I just sit and wait it's easier to do that through writing because sometimes I might get an email and I'm like what no this isn't right and I'll try to explain it and many times now I don't try to explain things I'll just say okay thanks for letting me know and I don't go into explanation it's not a lot of back and forth I don't react to it I'll just, if I'm irritated for whatever reason, I'll sit on it for a while. Doesn't mean just because I get an email or a phone call that I need to respond to that message right away. I can wait. To me, I'm kind of giving myself permission. I can give it 24 hours. I mean, 24 hours is still polite. I don't have to respond or react right then. And that gives me time to figure out how to handle what I'm going to say. Now, when you're in public with the person face to face, it's a little different. But I'm talking through email or phone messages, things like that, you know, or even if you were on the phone with someone, say someone says something and it kind of catches you off guard, you don't know what to respond, you could say, hey, you know what, I need to go take care of something, I'll have to chat with you later, let the person go, think about it, and then talk to that person later. Okay, number three, which kind of brings me to, kind of wrapped in together, not everything's urgent. A lot of times, sometimes other people I sometimes I have created people that are how do I rephrase this sometimes I feel like things are more urgent than they actually are and somebody will call me I have a few people that I've know that have called me in crisis mode and I'll act like whatever their emergency is is my emergency when it's actually not my emergency and there are times where oh Dawn I need to take care of this oh I have to look up this address and I'm out driving around I don't need to go take care of that if I'm doing things and I don't get to that, I'm not the only person that can take care of that need. And so I'm learning that, hey, I cannot be there for every single person whenever they need something. And so if somebody does call me, and I can only think of one person that does this actually, um, and is doing it less, but calls in crisis mode where they need something, that I don't always have to be right there. They're gonna have to find someone else besides me or take care of it themselves. And number four, staying in my own lane, not getting involved or feeling responsible for taking care of everybody. To sum up this whole thing, allowing people to figure out things for themselves rather than me jumping into a situation that I don't need to be jumping into and getting myself involved. I need to allow other people to take care of their own things and for me to stay in my own lane and take care of myself. Let me know if any of these four life lessons resonate with you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, they sure do, definitely do me. I'm a work in progress. I love you, appreciate you, and I'll see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye now.